Hello, it's John Burford with Chart of the Week for the 19th of August and today I'm covering the FTSE 100 index and it, I believe, is in a very critical point. Um, what I'm starting with, of course, is the uh, long-term chart, which is uh, normal for me. And this is the uh, 2016 low. Um, and right away, I can show you some remarkable features to this chart. First of all, tram lines. The first tram line I spotted was the upper one because these, these uh, highs here appeared to lie on a straight line. So I uh, drew this one in first um, and I took it back to here and right away I've got a spike low on this bar here and that is a prior pivot point. So that, uh, with all of those touch points there, represents a very reliable line of resistance. And I, I, if I could find a parallel tram line to this below it, uh, which could join several lows, then that would also be highly reliable line of support. And of course, this is what I did. I found that low there, that low there, and this low here with those three lows. I had a, a very reliable uh, line so I could extend it and uh, could rely on that to be a line of uh, support above the line or resistance below the line. Now in terms of Elliott waves, it shows textbook waves. I've got a wave one up here, wave two, and this is a very choppy um, um, uh, finish to wave three up to this point here, then a lovely ABC down to the wave four, and then a very sharp rally up to wave five, a new high at uh, the 7900 level. And that's when I believed I could start looking for a reversal because five waves had potentially finished and that's what exactly what happened and we got a nice move down here one two three four five down to wave one or a I'm not sure which is which it is at this stage and then from that point we had a lovely rally up to to kiss the tram line the lower tram line pull back and a final kiss uh, up to this area here and then a very sharp scalded cat bounce. So that is the picture as we look at it today. And so if uh, my uh, theory is correct and we've got a very sharp momentum divergence here which points to a very sharp um, um, decline and this will be my major target around the 6300 level which should be reached in the matter of weeks. Okay, here's the um, is the close-up on the daily chart of the final flourish. Uh, we've got, uh, this is the uh, lower tram line. We've got kiss on A is an ABC, uh, B, ABC to wave B. We've got an, another um, uh, B wave up here, up to wave C, purple wave C. And then a complete rejection of that in a scalded cat bounce. And what I've done is drawn another tram line which is parallel to this one, connecting this low here. And sure enough, it bounced off that tram line up to here, down again, and we're still in the no man's land around this lower support area here. This is also chart support. Note also the um, momentum divergence. So that is a bearish signal from this point here. But what I want to uh, point out is the similarity with the Dow Jones because stock markets are connected. Um, this is the equivalent wave A of the Dow. This is the wave B, the equivalent in the FTSE, and the rally to a new high. It made it a new all-time high on the 15th of July. Um, that was um, a little bit earlier than the FTSE, and now we've come down to this parallel tram line here, bouncing off it. Um, I drew it from this low here. There's only one touch point, and it's certainly living up to its uh, uh, reputation of being a support. But basically the trend is down and any bounces I believe could be shorted.